vestibular evaluation. But ideally, you should examine the cranial nerves, test for vestibular ocular reflex, eye movement, cerebellar test, posture, and positional testing. You won't go into details. The important thing I'd like to emphasize is that the eyes are the windows of the vestibular system. That's why we check for these tattoos. So, nakikita na talaga na kumagalaw yung so this is the central type, it goes in all directions. And this one is a very easy test, the stimulo-ocular reflex. So a patient is seated, just tell the patient to focus, let's say, at the tip of your nose, you move the head, tapos you ask the patient. So here in the stimulo-ocular reflex, the patient, if normal, is able to maintain a clear vision. Okay? So here, makikita nyo, nagkakabun yung mata. So that means there's Okay? Now, this six foot five maneuver, of course, patient comes to the room, he goes to the room, he goes This one is to check for benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. Sometimes we do this, patient follows up, patient's a little better, then he can do it. But a negative six foot five does not mean that the patient does not have benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. Now, this is very important and I'd like to share it with you. This would be the static test of balance. So, patient does the tandem wrong work. So, let's go to the diagram. Here, we want to find out. Remember the three channels. The eyes, the ears, and the, the proprioceptive. Okay? The somatosensory. So, what you do is you ask the patient to do the tandem wrong work. Stand that way. Patient does not fall. Does not sway. So, that means all three are normal. Let's say the patient does this and makikita niyo kung tulog na. So that means there's a possibility that one of the three has a problem. Okay? So you want to differentiate. Okay? So you remove one, two. That's the visual two. Kaya kapakikit niyo yung mata. So eyes closed. 